NBA Youngboy is in trouble because his fan base is filled with street dudes and street dudes are dumb. They really want to cancel NBA Youngboy over this particular clip. Knife and name. It's just when a girl grabbed the knife, hit her. Mm -hmm. That's what I keep telling him, man. Like, my girl ain't doing nothing wrong. The girl who got stabbed, she gonna tell you that, man, she didn't, she didn't stab her. Like, she didn't try. That's NBA Youngboy being interviewed by the police after his then fiance Yaya Mayweather, stabbed his girlfriend at his home. Wait a minute, I'm Deputy Malik with the constables. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, all right, I'm gonna read these instructions to you. Okay. So every time I ask you if you understand, you need to tell me if you understand or not. Okay. Just calm down. Just instructions, and then. We're gonna start some questioning. Is she okay? Uh, for now, I'm not. I, I don't know. They just took her to the hospital. I hope she's okay. Okay. So, uh, give me one second. I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. Why did you guys? Why did you guys take my fiance? He didn't do anything. Man, right now we don't know. I'm the one who did it. Right. That's what we're trying to ask. Yaya was really remorseful. But she was also really concerned about the police having an invested interest in NBA Youngboy and even cuffing him and putting him in the back of their vehicle. So she wanted to come clean and let them know that she was the one who stabbed the girlfriend so they could leave NBA Youngboy alone. Okay, you want to tell us uh, what happened exactly today? Um, so, um, me and my fiance. What's his name? Control. Okay. We had, um, got into an argument and... Home. He told me to leave the house, and so I left. And then I left and went for a walk, but I left my phone here. So then I came back to get my phone, and then I was still trying to stay at the house. And um, he was he was telling me to leave, and then I didn't know it was a girl here. She came down to fight me, and we had like started fighting or whatever. And I just like I ran and, and I uh, I ran and I grabbed knives out the kitchen uh -huh. and all I remember is like her pulling my hair and I just like when she was pulling my hair I just put my head down and I just like swung the knives and I, and I so hit and I So she hit was her. upstairs? Huh? She was upstairs when you came? She was yeah when I came in the house she was upstairs but then she came downstairs. She came down? Yeah. Okay and, and what did she say when she came down? Um telling me to get out of the house. She started telling you to get out of the house? Yeah. Okay and what did you do? Um I, I told her that I didn't have, like, he's my fiance, I don't have to leave the house. Okay. And then, um, that's when, like, she started, um, she tried fighting me or whatever. And then that's I mean, what, what exactly she did? Um, I, I can't, I'm, like, in shock right now, so I can't really remember everything. Okay, take your time. But, um, did she that's, come? that's when my lip is busted. Because okay. we had started, we had, she, we had started fighting. And then, so I had... Uh, I had like got away from her, and I went and I grabbed, I grabbed two knives, and then um, she had like came back towards me, like she was like, like at first I was like running like away from her with the knives, and then she had like pulled my hair like my hair back, and then all I remember is I just pulled my hair back, my head came back down, and then I just like swung the knives and I hit her. Okay. And from my perspective, that's self-defense. If I'm being attacked by a chick bigger than me and I'm trying to run away and she grabs me and pull my hair back and I swing a knife, to me that's self-defense, but the police didn't see it that way. And she was arrested, but she went out of her way to make sure the police knew that young boy had nothing to do with it. And he was actually upstairs when they were fighting and he came down to break it up. So young boy now is not really aware of what Yaya is saying. But she already confessed to the police and told the police exactly what took place. So when the police interrogated NBA Youngboy, who's a street dude, well, the only response he was supposed to say, according to the streets, is, I don't know what happened, and kept quiet. But Youngboy spoke a little too freely, and this is what he had to say in regards to what took place with Yaya and his other girlfriend. Okay, I'm saying, so that's what I'm trying to say. So Mayweather, dog, that's the one you said get out, right? That's the one you ain't want in the house, right? Yeah, that's the one you ain't want in the house. And that's the one, and then that's the one when you woke up, she was in the house. Yeah. And she's supposed to be outside the house. Man, when I woke up, she was on the porch. Okay. What I want to say. Yeah. She's like, I can't leave on my phone. Got you. It's the porch. I'm like, I'm like, I ain't big. I turn around, walk in the house. I got I have a phone upstairs on top of my Xbox. Yeah, yeah. And my smoke on. Yeah, yeah. Man, I come in downstairs. She's sitting right there by the door in the chair. 
I had enough time. Man, get the fuck out. Mm hmm. How the fuck they start fighting? She ain't wanna get out of my I ain't wanna put my hands on the bitch, man. Hey, dude, that's when, that's when your other girl started? No, man. I went, got her. I told man to get, get the girl out of my house. Man, I went, man, she, she get lives. So this is where it gets tricky. So Yaya Mayweather is being arrested and questioned for the stabbing of NBA Youngboy's girlfriend. Now Yaya Mayweather is still presumed innocent until found guilty. Now Youngboy is unaware that Yaya Mayweather is currently confessing to the crime because she wants to protect him. So while unaware of what Yaya Mayweather is currently doing, NBA Youngboy is telling the police that Yaya Mayweather grabbed a knife. That when they were arguing, she went and grabbed a knife. And let's hear what else he had to say. And then she went for the knife. She went for the knife. Yeah, 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 yeah. But she not on the violence. She man is yeah. my girl. I sleep when I know this girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, she on some shit like this. So on the girl like this and just grab her. Man, the knife hit her. Yeah, hit her. Man, she ain't no stab button, man. Yeah. Come on, man. That makes sense. Mmm. Now I'm a civilian. So I believe it's okay to talk to the police. I applaud you for giving the police information. But the street dudes told us there's never a circumstance that it's okay to give the police information. Or is it okay if you are a big, bad, tough rapper that everybody is scared of? In situations like this, where the industry and the people y'all think is unbiased, they get called to the carpet and y'all realize they're really biased and bought. Because we was told by street dudes, again, not civilians, right? Because civilians, we don't create the rules for snitching. We was told by street dudes that if you give information that can be used by the police against somebody, use a snitch and use a rat. NBA Youngboy told the police, while unaware that Yaya is confessing, he told the police that Yaya Mayweather grabbed the knife and she hit the knife on the girlfriend that was laying down on the ground in a puddle of blood when the police pulled up. Now, he did say she ain't mean to stab her, but he did confirm she did indeed stab her. So if that's the case, ain't that snitching? I'm like, oh, hey, I'm not the street dude, though. I'm just a civilian, people. I'm just an unbiased media personality, and I'm just asking questions. Now, some young boy fans are saying that this is snitching. Others are saying this is not snitching. But I'm more concerned at the media personalities, you know, you know who, who expose rats, right? The media personalities who are so quick to hop on their platforms and talk about every other rapper who snitched. But because it's young boy and he's too tough and y'all scared of him, y'all not saying nothing? Hey, I don't know, man. Now, it's bad coincidence, too, that, like, the day before this footage got released, another footage got released of NBA Youngboy on FaceTime with 6 9 talking about doing a song with 6 9 and chopping it up. It's a, it's a, I was just gonna say the sad beauty. You ain't gotta worry about it. You ain't gotta even worry about that when your mind is going through the stone. I already gave my word on Yeah. I ain't that type of nigga, man. Yeah. That's what I said. I'd rather have a one on. I know. This is the thing. I already gave my word on, man. Gotta think of it. Yeah. It's basically really just figuring you out, bro. You said what? It's really basically just figuring you out, bro. Yeah, yeah, nah. It was too many people in the middle. Like I said, bro, I'm a stand up nigga, bro. Like, niggas, niggas know me, like. I'm always stand up, bro. You see me, it's, it's it like, whatever you see is what you get, bro. Like, I don't be out here walking around with no security. If you on face, look, if you on FaceTime right now, you can see me, look. Bro, look. <laughs> I, I, I already done proved my point. Like, like, oh, that's how true it is, look. We can ignore the fact that 6 9 called himself a stand up person. Listen, 6 9 is a lot of things, but I don't think stand up is... <laughs> And I'm not saying 6 9 is not a stand-up dude because he told, because from my world, you are a stand-up dude if you tell. But 6 9 don't take care of his kids. 6 9 done went to court and confessed and pled guilty to violating his baby mama in Dubai. So I don't even think the word stand-up could be used with 6 9 But NBA Youngboy having the questionable video footage, plus this questionable FaceTime call where he's essentially saying he would do a song with 6 9 now, I don't believe that telling a street politics should come in a way of doing business. Apparent, like, especially like if if a six nine is playing a million dollars perverse, like if he's paying rappers a million dollars to hop on a song with him. All right, I don't think that street politics should get involved with that. But the streets, right? You know, the supporters of NBA YoungBoy, they may feel a certain way that YoungBoy is in a questionable <laughs> body cam footage saying some questionable things. Plus, he's now on FaceTime with 6 9 trying to do a song. 
Now, I do believe this FaceTime call is old because WAC100 did say that he was trying to put the play together, but somebody above him called and said, that's not happening. And we would imagine that Birdman was the one who called WAC100 and told him, bro, that 6 ix 9 cannot do a song with NBA Youngboy. He's not going to allow it. No, so y'all let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think, all right? Is this really bad news for NBA Youngboy? Did he tell or did he not tell? And if you're still watching, click on this video right here to find out how Keith Lee video ruined this lady's life. Click on this video here to find out how Keith Lee ruined this lady's life, all right? I'm out of here, folks. Peace.